I don't know why I clap because I'm not syncing any audio. I don't have like an external microphone. Hey guys, uh, so this will be my Sunday upload, I suppose, because I haven't finished editing the vlog that I was supposed to upload for Sunday. So yeah, but I thought that it would be timely to discuss something that has been weighing me down for quite a while. It has been keeping me up for a while now and it is about my YouTube channel. So early last year, like January, actually not even, uh, December of 2017, I put out a newsletter and I declared that I wanted to have 100,000 subscribers before the year 2018 ends. At that time, I think I had maybe 26,000 subscribers already. I knew that I had a long way to go. Um, 26 to 100k is like, I can't do math, but you can compute um, a little less than 70k maybe. Oh no, a little more than 70k. But anyway, um, yeah, I knew that I had a long way to go, but I felt that I could do it with hard work and consistency because up until that time when I made that goal, I wasn't sticking to any schedules on YouTube. I wasn't uploading regularly. I was just uploading covers every now and then. And of course, my music videos would go on there. But yeah, I felt like with conviction and with a schedule sort of, I might be able to reach that goal. It felt very hard, but I was ready to take it on. Towards the first part of the year, it seemed like I was on my way because I was tracking the growth of my YouTube channel and I was kind of growing somewhere between 5,000 to a range of like 8,000 subscribers per month. And by the time that I reached December, I would have just made it to 100k if nothing changes. And I assumed that I'd only get better as people would get more used to me uploading every week and they'd probably look forward to the content that I would put out. Uh, I reached 50k around May and I celebrated that, like I gave a giveaway, but I felt like towards the latter part of the year, people just stopped watching or stop caring about it and compared to my first half of 2018 that was a bit discouraging i think that the comment section would really uh thrive in a way but watch time or the views wouldn't be promising i tried to just keep at it i felt like oh maybe this is a bad month maybe this is a bad two months but it started becoming consistent until I closed the year. And I was stuck for a very long time at like 70k. I wasn't moving up to 80k for maybe like 4 months or I don't know. But it felt like forever that I was stuck in 70k. And even though I had 70k and that's a lot of subscribers. I think my videos got an average of... 2k to 5k views every time i put it out and i had 70k so that wasn't like a good number at all for me 70k started to feel very arbitrary because i wasn't reaching the people who i was supposed to be reaching youtube i really enjoy it's a great outlet for me and i really do love expressing myself through um editing videos and the music that i put out there and I've been on YouTube for a very long time. I've had a lot of secret accounts that would never see the light of day. I don't know if that was grammatically correct. But anyway, um, I feel like I've been spending way too much time on it, going about it blindly. I just go do what I think I should do without proper evidence of what I really should do. I don't look at my analytics. I don't really um, ask around. Even if I do ask around, sometimes I don't really implement the answers that I get from people who I ask. I think a lot of my stagnancy on YouTube has come from that, that I haven't been listening to feedback that I should be listening to. I haven't been paying attention to what you guys want and I'm not so in tune with what you guys want to see and really it takes so much of my time in my headspace like i worry a lot about it i worry a lot about my youtube channel and i feel like i'm expending so much effort on it that i really do want to do anyway but i feel like i'm not servicing anybody or i'm servicing a very few amount of people as compared to the subscribers that i have and i know that the subscriber number isn't very telling of how your performance on youtube should be like but at least i would feel better if at least one fourth or one third of my subscribers are engaging with my content 
but that doesn't seem to be the case I feel like I am just reaching like 10% or maybe fewer than that because I don't know how to math especially the vlogs the monthly vlogs I really enjoy um, putting together it's more for me actually than for anybody else because they're so long but I love editing them because I love seeing what I've done in a month and I love reminiscing and it really makes me feel more grateful for what I have accomplished, what I've done, what I've seen, who I've met and I love sharing that with you guys to the people who are patient enough to get through the vlogs or at least to watch even half of it and also I love making you guys see what I'm up to and discover who I am aside from the music that you hear from me which leads me to the music aspect um, because of YouTube I worry about it so much and I get anxious about it that I tend to neglect my own music at times instead of allotting time for my songwriting or allotting time for for listening or to hone my craft or whatever or practicing I would be thinking about how I would do YouTube and what things I'm doing wrong and now I haven't edited this video yet and now I'd have no content for Sunday or whatever and it's just like a mad cycle that I couldn't get out of because every week I have to have something and you know it's not as easy for me to come up with things that you'd like I feel like I'm doing a very poor job on it but I don't want to punish myself too much I mean I'm just sharing my thoughts I don't want to give up on the vlogs although I'm very very late on some of them I know but I really do enjoy them it's just a hassle to get through sometimes like the very hardest part is starting with it and yeah I've just been thinking if I am prioritizing my time correctly if I'm putting uh, my effort where it needs to go and the most important thing for me is songwriting right now and even just for myself i need to be writing songs because it's how i'm able to understand myself and it's how i'm able to tell my story and it's how i'm able to connect with people who listen to me and it really is the best form of self-expression for me and even if it starts very selfishly I write songs to be able to understand who I am and what I'm going through I'm happy that in that process I'm able to affect others and I'm able to speak for other people who are going through the same things that I am and maybe it helps them understand themselves better you know and that's a great feeling for me so songwriting is a huge priority for me but I find that I have less and less time for it because of all these immediate deadlines that I have lined up for myself that I don't even have to do but I feel like I have to and it's really messing with my head at the end of the day I feel like a hundred thousand subscribers is still like a solid goal to have but I feel like I need to let that go the numbers are just numbers you know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter a hundred thousand subscribers does not matter if you guys are not watching it if you guys are not engaged if you don't care about what I'm doing if you don't care about what I'm putting out and the thing that I do care more about is the engagement and how you guys are enjoying the content that I put out I want to make sure that the time that I invest on YouTube is worth it and I don't mean this in a way where oh I have to make money out of YouTube and whatever but I just want you guys to feel something or to get something out of the content that I'm putting out I'm not sure how many people are gonna watch this because it's just me talking about very personal stuff on YouTube but if you are watching this I want to ask you guys to leave me a comment that would be helpful for me how would I improve my YouTube channel how would I improve myself how would I um serve you guys better and if you guys have any specific suggestions for me like what kind of content really would you genuinely love to see and i would try my hardest to really follow through with that um i was thinking of involving you more in my songwriting process because i think that you like the songwriting challenges that i do and i want to involve you guys more in terms of the actual writing of my songs really what I want is for this community to thrive 
I'm very happy with my Patreon community. Most of my patrons are um, subscribers on my YouTube channel. I think that I know what they like because they tell me all the time on the comment section. But I want to hear from the casual YouTube viewers or just the people who really stick around to watch the content that I have. I don't think it would be helpful for me for you to say that, oh, I love everything that you put out. And if you do, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. But I guess I'm looking for more specificity in terms of yeah what I should continue doing, what I should start doing, and what I should maybe stop doing. Um, but given all of that, I would still of course weigh everything against my personal measure of happiness. But it would really make me happy if I can make you guys happy. So. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about my YouTube stuff. I hope that you weren't put off by this. I was just being honest with myself and with you guys. And I want to see better change. And hopefully I could do that for you guys this year. Thank you.